Hi Game On Girls, it's Coach Susan here in Boulder, Colorado. I don't know if you can tell, but I have all my sunscreen on because I'm ready to be outside. Just like you have got to do when you go outside, right? Put that sunscreen on. Um, I love being outside, it's great today. I'm sorry that we can't be together as we're playing, but I'm so happy that you're watching this video. What I like to do in Boulder, Colorado is coach jump rope. So I coach soccer and all kinds of other stuff during camp because I love all sports. But what I do throughout the year is I coach jump rope. As you can see, I have all these awesome jump ropes I'm wearing today. And I just kind of wanted to show you that no matter what you have at home, you can do this workout or this routine with me. So one of the ropes I have is a beaded rope and it has short handles on it. So you might have something like this at home. I'm not gonna use that today. Another rope I have is another short handle and it's kind of got a licorice type. And so that kind of swings around really easy for me. I like, I like to make sure that when I stand on the rope, it goes close to my armpits. This one's a little bit shorter, um, but I can also change that whichever way I like. So don't be afraid to change the size of your rope. Sometimes you have a licorice rope with long handles. These are fun when we do crisscrosses. So when we get to that trick in our routine, I'll show you. And you might have something at home that looks like this. So it might actually have rope on it and that's totally cool too. So it's a little bit trickier because the handle doesn't spin with the rope on this thing, but you can still use your muscles to turn that rope around your body, okay? I'm gonna use one of my favorite ropes to jump outside with, and it has these really cool flexible beads and then these long handles, and it also has um, stoppers at the top where I can change the size of my rope. So sometimes with your jump rope, you can change it by putting different knots in it to make it shorter or longer. So don't be afraid to play with your jump ropes if you have them at home. If you don't, that is okay. You can do this routine with us without a jump rope. You can pretend to turn your arms and you can do all the footwork with us. So I'm gonna show you the routine really fast and then I'm gonna break it down. There are actually only five tricks in this routine. So if you learn these five different skills, you'll be able to put this whole routine together and have a bunch of fun. Okay, so five, six, seven, eight. Out. Woo! That's okay if we mess up. We're gonna start again. Five, six, seven, eight. Out. Out. Up. Up. Out. Out. Up. Up. Out. Out. Twister. Twister. Out. Out. Twister. Twister. Swing, swing, jump, jump, swing, swing, jump, jump, cross two, four, cross two, four, swing, swing, jump, jump, swing, swing, jump, jump, cross two, four, cross two, four, stop. All right, so that's gonna be a super fun routine that I have a song to. We'll see if the social media lets us post it or not, but I'll definitely put it in the notes. If you wanna download it and do the routine with it. So this routine has side straddles, knee ups, side swings, crisscrosses, and twisters. So one of the first tricks we're gonna learn is our side straddle. And again, we actually don't need the rope. With your two feet together, jump up. And then on the second jump, bring your feet apart and jump out. Kind of like a jumping jack, right? So we're gonna jump together Jump out, together, out. Good, now see if you can use your arms. Up and down. This is a side straddle. So you've done jumping jacks at camp. You could do this. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Awesome job. And if it's a little tricky, that is okay too. The next skill that we're gonna practice is our knee ups. So to make it look really good, we wanna do high knees like you do in workouts too. So you might do this at camp when we're doing fitness testing. So you might have your knees really high up and jump, 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 jump. Well, you don't have to make it that tricky. We're gonna jump on our two feet together and we're just gonna lift one leg. Hop on one foot and lift one leg. Hop together, hop together. See if you can do it on one leg. Hop together. Nice job, keep going. 
Cool, let's see if we can switch feet. Yeah! All right, you got it, keep going. There's our high knees. Awesome work. So we'll put those together. We'll do two side straddles, two right knees, two side straddles, two left knees. Let's try without our rope altogether. Let's pretend we have our rope. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Out, out, up, up, out, out, up, up. Nice work. We're gonna learn our third trick, which is a twister. So this might be a little hard to see. I'm gonna take my knees and my toes and I'm gonna point them at a 45 degree angle. But my shoulders are gonna stay facing you, my friends. Ready, jump. So I'm twisting my body just a little bit to like the corner of a room. If I'm in a gym, my living room, my bedroom, I'm gonna keep my body at the, the camera or the computer screen, but my knees and my toes are gonna go to the corner. All right, so let's come back to the front. Twist, front, twist. Good job, see if you can pick it up. Good work. Now let's go to the other side. Left, again. Good. Keep those knees together, just like you were jumping squats. Again, fitness testing at camp. So if you were doing squats, sometimes we bring our feet together. Sorry, feet apart. This time we're going to keep our feet together, but we're going to bend our knees, just like you do in a squat. So make sure when we do knees, when we do squats, we don't want our knees to go way over our toes, right? We want our knees to be over our ankles. So we're just going to drop our bottom down a little bit and our knees go to the side. Okay, we're gonna put that all together again. Starting with the side straddles, knee ups. Then we're gonna do two more side straddles, two twisters, two side straddles, two twisters to the other side. So we're gonna put that whole thing together right now because you can do it. Are you ready? Without our jump ropes, remember? This is a great way to practice. Five, six, seven, eight, out, out, up, up, out, out, up, up. Get ready for twisters. Out, out, twister, twister, out, out, twister, twister. Nice work. All right, I think we're ready to add one new trick. That's gonna be side swings. It is easier to learn this trick if you have a rope, but I'm gonna teach it first without. So we're gonna pretend we have our awesome jump rope and it's right behind our feet. And when we swing it over our heads, we keep our elbows nice and glued to our sides and we're just gonna go down with our wrists and back and that's gonna bring the rope over our head nice and easy. So the rope swings over our head and then we bring our hands together and swing the rope to one side of our body. We're gonna try and make this a double side swing. That's the trick that we're learning. So when the rope comes over our head, our hands come together and it goes down, back up, and then we're gonna swing to the other side. We're gonna make a big X across our body and go down, up, down, up, down, up. If you got this without your jump rope, go ahead and pick it up. And we're gonna start with the rope behind our back. And again, it just makes this little down back motion. We're gonna keep our elbows as close as we can to our bodies. So it goes down, up, down, up, down, up. And our hands are making these big giant X's all the way around. Or figure eight, if you remember what that is. All right, awesome. So in the routine, we are gonna swing to the right, left, jump two times. Then we're gonna to swing to the left and the right and jump two times. In jump rope, it's always important to learn your tricks on both sides of the body, just like in soccer, just like in basketball. Any sport that you're learning, you wanna make sure that you practice with both sides so that you build healthy, strong bodies all around, right? You game on girls know this. So let's try the side swing and the two jumps together. Five, six, seven, eight, right, left, jump, jump, left, right, jump jump awesome let's try that again also some of you may have seen i just stopped the rope on my toes 
this is a really great way if you're learning to jump rope to just kind of play with your jump rope. Learn how to stop it on your feet. You can kind of rock on your toes. This is fun. I could do this all day. Can you? <laughs> all right, so we're gonna try that again. Side swing right, left, jump, jump. Left, right, jump, jump. Five, six, seven, eight. Right, left, jump, jump. Left, right, jump, jump. Awesome. Let's put the top all the way through this part together. Do you remember the first part? Side straddles, that's right. So we're gonna start side straddles, right knee up, side straddles, left knee up, side straddles, twister, twister, side straddles, twister, twister, swing, swing, jump, jump, swing, swing, jump, jump. It actually goes really well with the music and it kind of makes a lot of uh, sense and it's a lot of fun to do. So let's start from the top. Five, six, seven, eight, out. Out, up, up, out, out, up, up, out, out, twister, twister, out, out, twister, get ready for the side swings and right, left, jump, jump, left, right, jump, jump. Good work. Now we're gonna move on to the very last trick that we learned in this routine, which is a crisscross. Some of you may already know how to do a crisscross. That's awesome. If you don't, I'm gonna show you really fast. Again, we're gonna keep our elbows nice and close to our bodies, swing the rope over our heads, and when we do, we wanna cross our arms. Now remember how I said elbows close to the body. If my jump rope is way over here, can I jump it? No, it's far away from me. If my jump rope is way up here, can I jump it? Uh-uh, that's really hard. So we want to make sure when we do our crisscross that our elbows almost touch and that our hands go right by our pockets. See how I can touch my pockets? All the way down there, okay? That's going to make it really easy to jump the rope. All right, so if you're just learning to jump rope, one crisscross is super fun. Once you get that one crisscross, then I want you to try it with the other hand on top. So that's what's going to happen in this routine is we're going to do our right hand on top first and then we're going to do our left hand on top first. Okay. So we go cross and we have three jumps afterwards. Five, six, seven, eight. Cross, two, three, four. Cross, two, three, four. Nice work. We'll put the side swings together right in front of it. So we're going to start with the right side swing, left side swing. Jump, jump. Cross, jump, jump, jump cross, jump, jump, jump. And remember, you can do this without your jump rope. You can put it on the ground and try moving your arms and jumping your feet at the same time. That's an awesome workout and it's super fun too. So do what feels good for you at home. Are you ready? Side swings and then the crisscross. Five, six, seven, eight, side, side, jump, jump, side, side, jump, jump, cross, two, three, four, cross, two, three, four, Awesome! And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna copy that one more time and that'll be the end of our routine. So five fun tricks, top to bottom. Are you ready to do them? Let's see if we remember. What are we starting with? Side straddles, that's right. Side straddles, knee ups. Side straddles, twisters. Side straddles, twist to the other side. Side swings crisscrosses, side swings, crisscrosses. All right, y'all, we got this. Let's do it together. I'll do one time without music and then the next time with music. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Out, out, up, up, out, out, up, up, out. Get ready for twisters. Twister, twister, out, out. Next thing is side swings. Right, left, left, right, cross, two, three, four, and side swings again, right, left, left, right, crisscross, cross, two, three, four, cross, two, three, four, and stop. Awesome job. Jumpers, what a great job. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you had lots of fun learning five new tricks and a group routine to put them all together too. 
My name is Coach Susan. I hope you had lots of fun. If you did, go ahead and share this video with your friends. I hope you have a wonderful summer.